to Laughing with Lana, the podcast that talks about absolutely nothing and everything all at the same time. So, I have a special guest, a special friend of mine. Nick Diaz is in the building. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. What up? You have your own podcast too, right? I do, yes. All I know is that you that you film at Blue Wire. I don't know what your podcast is actually called. What is called it? Veterans Minimum. Oh, I knew that. Damn it, I do know that. Yeah. Stupid ass. Oh, come I know. On, come on, come on. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, so he, okay, so wait. Real quick. Merchandise.veteransminimum.com. He, because the first time I had asked him if he would come on my podcast, right, he was like, he was like, so, uh, can't. He was like, your podcast, a little bit too raunchy for me. And so he was, so he had agreed with me not too long ago. He was like, hey, so I thought of a few stories that I think I could have on your podcast that are like, that relate to you, right? But he was like, but. I'm going to bring you a sweater so you can cover up. No, no, no. I was just playing. <laughs> that was good, though. I was just playing. No, but this is part of, this is part of merch. Hold on. It looks like the M Casino. <laughs> that's cute. I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's a sick-ass design. It's a, no, it's a cute-ass design. And on top of that, the sweater is actually fucking warm. Like, I'm hot now. I was cold as shit walking in. So thank you. Thank you. I got I'm you. Merched of course. Out. I'm merched out. Of course. I'll get you a I'll get you a shirt of like me fucking naked on it or something for you. For okay. Your, your yeah. podcast. Just I'm the titties. Yeah. Just the titties. No, Let's you know, it. I really want to get like um I wanna make shirts that have you know how there's some shirts that have girls like it's just it's just their titties right here. Okay. It's just like a block, and it's just like your titties. Yeah, yeah. I want to get my titties and start passing them around to people. And I want, I'd like like guys will wear that shirt, right? Would a guy wear yeah. a shirt of my titties? Yeah, I got a, I actually I actually got a Marilyn Monroe shirt uh -huh. that she's wearing the New York Giants. Like, uh, it, it's one of my favorite shirts. Really? Like, Is she naked? Uh, nah, she's wearing like a a tank top of with the giant logo in the yeah. middle, and she kind of got like uh, that's cute, like skinny not skinny jeans, but like uh, Daisy Duke jeans. Cute. It's popping, yo. That's cute. Yeah. I need to see this shirt. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start selling some merchandise soon. Hopefully, You're you should. I feel like yo. I feel like everybody should be having merch for your show. Like you don't gotta. I'm I'm always like really transparent with all my stuff. Yeah. I kind of put all my stuff out there, and I don't really make any money off the merch. Really? Yeah. Like I like. I wouldn't even care. Dollars, like single dollar. Type shit, yeah. Yeah, but it's just cool. To, people ask for merch, so I just put some shit together, and it, it's top of the line, like the quality. Like you, you Oh, know, no, like this you is good shit. And, this, this, uh, and, this, I'm going to cuddle with this. And I do a lot of like trial and error where I buy, I'll buy this brand, that brand, this brand, and then I'll get it sent to me without the logo or anything yeah. just to be like, oh, this is fucking... Haynes or whatever it might be. Yeah. And then I'll just go through it and be like, ah, this is kind of whack. This is <laughs> this is dope, right? But it's fifteen dollars a shirt as opposed to six. God. You get for, you get what you pay for. Of course, yeah, it's so everywhere. I always feel even like, with hookers. Yeah, even with hookers, one hundred percent. That was the expensive one. But uh, <laughs> but with the merch, it just I tell everybody, I'm like, yo, you never know how many people are gonna want to just like buy to support you. Uh, a lot so of my bad. friends buy the merch, which is dope, also, and. Yeah, you just like cycle through. So now, like everything, when people buy it, they're like, "Yo, this shit is dope." And I'm like, "Yeah, man, it's." You're like, I put a lot of work into yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. And so you get proud of it too. I, I highly recommend it. And then it's dope because like I always wear my stuff out. Yeah. And it starts a conversation. People are like, "Oh, what is that? The logo is dope." Like, <laughs> You're that. like it's me. Yeah. And that's what I need to do because I'm like, I like, like people ask me about my stickers a lot. You know, you've seen my stickers. I want to get my sticker on. Yo, a shirt. anal backwards is hilarious. <laughs> It, that's that's very good. That's very good. Yeah, so I know I know you guys have probably seen. I have stickers that have a girl bent over, her booty hole out, and 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 it says anal backwards on the bottom. And then on top of that, it has my QR code so people can actually follow me and stuff like that. So I'm like, I I that's probably the only thing that I have that's merchandise. But I'm like, other than that, I don't have shit. But I need shirts and sweaters and like stuff like that. Like I wanna. I want to get myself out there. Yeah, it just brings attention to your brand. Yeah, insight. So, so okay, you told me a few stories that, or not, not you told me like a gist of a few stories that you wanted to share on my podcast. First off, you said because he saw the he saw the stuff that I have on my podcast, like this guy right here. We need to name him. We should name him Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I need to name this guy. But you looked at this and he was like, "Yo, I have a story about what you about your homophobic friend." Yo, so we went to Miami one year. Uh -huh. uh, I had a stretch where, like, my friends and I, we'd go to Miami and Vegas every year. Mm -hmm. Like, for, like, What for? Just? Just 
to party? Yeah, just okay. to go down and party. Like my two favorite places, honestly, outside of New York, it was Miami and Vegas. And Vegas, yeah. Real? Number one, I love Spanish chicks. Oh, I'm sorry. And, and Miami. No, you don't need to be sorry. <laughs> I tell you, Big Dyer, that's Bro, where I'm come at. On, oh, you know we gotta go. We gotta go. We, hang we, out. we, we, we gotta become go best out. friends. <laughs> For real. Hello, like brother. immediately. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yo. So like, I grew up in Queens. Yeah. And um, my entire life was around everyone Spanish. not white. <laughs> like for real. Like a lot of, I mean, a lot of my close friends are like white dudes and whatnot. But like, my high school, the white population was like the minority. I would yeah. say a lot oh. of Latino, a lot of Latinos, a lot of blacks, a lot of Asians. Wh- also, what? yeah. So like, we, me, growing up. Also, Queens is like the most diverse place in the world, I think. Yeah, I've heard, yeah. It's it's literally out of control. And especially the one road that I grew up on, Steinway Street, it, it takes you from like one side of Astoria all the way to like the 59th Street Bridge. Queensboro Projects takes you in, into Manhattan. Damn. And like, dude, every block has like its own culture. It's crazy. No way. Like it starts off like super Greek and Italian and then it gets <laughs> like Irish and like... Scottish, what? and then and then you hit all the Arabic cultures and the hookah lounges and the, the hookah dancing. lounges. I'm t- <laughs> yeah, and then and then from there, everybody has their area. Yeah, <laughs> yo, seriously, man, it's crazy. When I bring people there, it's one of the places that when they come to visit New York, I tell them, I'm like, yo, if you're into different cultures and diversity, you got to go there. And then it gets really like Jamaican and like Haitian and the oh. food, and it's like, yo, you go down one road, you could hit like. 50 different restaurants and every Mm. single one is a different like country and then like the last like i am too (laughs) the last like mile and a half is all latino and brazilian oh brazilian new york brazilians yeah a ton a ton Mm. so i grew up i grew up around like you know my first girlfriend was colombian my second girlfriend was colombian my third girlfriend was going. I got a I got a type. He likes the Shakiras. I got a type. And uh so we going back to how this all started, we would go to Miami every year and and this was when I, we were like 22, 23. I was always like the I was like the second oldest of my friend group. Yeah. Everyone's between like now it's now it's between like 29 and 33. Damn. I'm 32. Okay. So I was like the second oldest in my friend group growing up. So when we would go down to Miami, we would just like do dumb shit, you know, the shit you do with your friends, yeah. like bachelor party without a bachelor is how, <laughs> would, how would I compare it. So anyway, this one time we were looking for one of my friend's phones and why, what happened to it? We had, we had a, we threw a party and we couldn't find his phone. Okay. So we were like, yo, before we start accusing people of like stealing the phone, like, let's just okay. look through everyone's bag and whatnot. So I like to call myself a fire starter. <laughs> And what I mean by that is, if 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 I really fuck with you, I'm going to troll you. <laughs> and I put people through a test. Like, all right, I'm going to troll Lana. If she can't take it, I can't really fuck with Lana. Right, right. If you could take it, I'm like, yo, if you hit me up at 3 in the morning because you got a flat tire, I'm coming to save you. Uh, like, that's, that's how I am. Right. <laughs> yo, that's how I am. That's how I am. If you can take my... a joke, I got your back. Yeah, <laughs> yo, oh, yo, 100%. So, me and my one buddy... We're walking down, uh, it's either Collins Avenue or Washington. It's one of like the three main roads mm-hmm. on South Beach. And there's a sex shop. Oh. So we were going to go through everyone's bags. Like, yo, maybe he got misplaced or whatnot. So I have this one friend who's like, he's he's a weird cat. right? I'll just leave it at that. He's kind of weird. So I told my boy, I was like, yo, we should buy a dildo. <laughs> and we should put it in his bag. So then when we're looking through everyone's bags will be like bro what the fuck is this thing and we wanted to buy some wild like like some crazy dong it was called like uh <laughs> it was called some crazy with balls and it, we were just gonna be like bro what the hell is this just to see his reaction and uh we ended up not doing it because his brother was with us too and his brother was laughing his ass off and he's like bro you know how my brother is he uh... would like it'll ruin the rest of his trip i was like Exactly. Uh, why exactly. Oh, this. you're a dick. Yeah. It was that, like, that bad of like, you know, like. Bro, he would have lost his mind. So when I saw that, I immediately thought of that story. I was like, damn, bro, I'm such a bitch. I didn't do it. But you should have done it. Yeah. Well, there's other chances. Yeah, there do will it be for probably. Lana, bro. Do it for anal backwards. Anal backwards. Do it for anal back. Do put That's a, a shirt, on. yo. You, you see, you're dropping the ball on that. I don't no, even want 10%, I, though. I should. He's get it. stupid. 
right. Yeah. No, I've been thought of it. My thing is, it's 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 a struggle right now. It's like I'm I'm like a uh, what do they call that? A struggling artist, uh, a successful or whatever they call it. Yo, can I be honest with you? What's up? I think you're just being lazy. No, it's just like like well, I had a Teesprings and my Teesprings, I can't get into it anymore. So I need a new one. It's but free, dude. No, I can't. Well, in my login, I can't get into no, it. No, I'm saying though. And I can't get it off of my OnlyFans. That's my thing is I have Teesprings on my OnlyFans and I can't get that one off because I can't log into it. Mm. But I want to get I wanted to get into that. But um, um, the, the other thing was I thought that I needed to buy shirts until I just heard about print. Printful. Printful and Teesprings not too long yeah. ago. I, um, I'm like I'm not I'm not tech savvy like I don't know these things like be, I I I learn along the way. Yeah, we're barely figuring shit like, out. I'm barely <laughs> trying to figure shit out. Bro, you're talking to someone who is dumb. <laughs> I I, I knew like, that. <laughs> like I I just I just feel as if I I figure things out. Uh -huh. I'm willing to put time into things. That's another reason why I like jujitsu too. Like there's so many microcosms and parallels between that. And just everything else in my life. I heard you're a badass in jujitsu. I'm uh, I'm, I'm good. I got, I just, I got one move that is very good. Yeah, your neck choke hold or something. Uh, yeah, the darts. The darts. Dars. Dars. Hey, you get down on the darts. I've heard, yeah. bro. That's my favorite submission, bro. That's it. That's all I really got. But it's elite. Everything else is kind of mid, but you know, but still, just, like, being, just being but honest. But that's the thing is, sometimes all you just need is that one move. Get one trick pony, baby. Yeah, that's mine's my head takes. game. No that's, playing. That's, that's, that's all it takes. <laughs> so I going. Going back to why I even brought that up is because like, yo, I just figure shit out. Like my whole my whole life has just been like, yo, just figure it out. Yeah. And and if you're willing to if you're willing to like put in the work, and it's really easy too. Like, dude, just go to YouTube. Be like, how to set up a merch store. Yeah. And they'll you'll find some twelve year old kid that'll walk you through it. And it's <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, That's you're gonna nice though. <laughs> yo, you're gonna get you're gonna get so mad at yourself when you realize just how simple it is. No, you know, you know what I, you know what I'm, I'm kind of not dreading, but I know that it's gonna be a lot easier than I'm thinking it's gonna be is making thumbnails, oh, and yeah. I'm like, once I learn how to do Photoshop and I can actually like get some like artful kind of like inspiration to make shirts or to put a print on a shirt, that's what I'm like waiting for. My my class is tomorrow. Hey George, George yeah, is yeah, gonna George. teach me. George is gonna teach me how to make thumbnails. But I'm like, but by then I'll learn how to at least. Make photo or 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 do Photoshop. I don't know how to do that, bro. Not yet. Yo, again, it's really easy. That's my point. I figured it out. Photoshop. Yeah, I got thrown. I got thrown. I'm I'm working on this project, and uh, I'm doing video editing for someone, a uh, really big like client uh -huh. and a really big show. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I heard of it out of nowhere. Congrats. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's it's it is what it is. <laughs> um, that's the name of the show. Uh, <laughs> but. but uh, <laughs> But yeah, like I'm video, I'm video editing for them, and it's been great, you know. Like it's been a really cool gig, and I kind of just got thrown into the fire. They're like, "Yo, can you make the thumbnails?" Mm -hmm. And again, like in my DNA, I'm gonna figure it out, guy. And I was like, "Yeah, I can make them." And then I just started like I spent like two, three hours, and I just fucked with it. I saw what they were posting, mm -hmm. what they were doing in the past, and I kind of just like copied it. Yeah. With my own little like flair little to tweak, it. Yeah. And. They're like, yo, these shits are popping. You're making them? I was like, yeah. They're like, what yo, the these are dope. Fuck? So, yo, I'm telling you, man, it's really not like, I have a problem with like entrepreneur content. Yeah. And like, yeah, we've had this discussion in yeah. the past. Like, that shit drives me crazy. <laughs> I hate all that content that comes in and they're like, yeah, you know, you gotta make your bed or else you'll never be successful. Yo, That's you stupid. You go to my crib right now, I swear to God, my bed is not made. <laughs> I only make I only make my bed if I know for a fact someone's coming over. Like my my boy Danny is coming to visit for the yeah. weekend tomorrow. When he comes to my house, I'm gonna have my bed made. Yeah, you got company. Yeah, I got company. When you know? have company. Yeah, when I have company. But throughout that, like, why? Because I don't make my bed. I'm not gonna be successful. I'm having the greatest year of my life. The you last like twelve months, and I haven't made my bed because that's how I am, bro. Like I'm a I'm a troll. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> you gotta so, outdo the dude. So I see, I see this kind of content, and it drives me crazy. And like the reason why I'm bringing all this up is because all those cliches that you constantly hear about, they're true. nah, they are. They no. just become cliches because people keep saying them and saying them. And I always just tell people like, "Yo, I'm telling you, all you gotta do is grind. Yeah, that, get shit done. Those three yeah. words have changed my life. Like, get shit done. They're like, "Yo, you have any advice?" For people, I'm like, get shit done. Get shit done. Like, what do you mean? I was like, it's really that simple. 
and just figure it out. Just figure My it out. My thing is like like i've i've me personally i've always had to figure shit out when it came to like my personal life and like finances and stuff like that i get what you mean by figuring shit out because it's it's like at the end of the day all you got is you and if you're waiting for somebody else it's like it's not it's it just won't it won't get done you got to do it yourself without question and i also believe that no one's going to care about that thing that's yours more than you yeah i've i've learned that over the years i've been I've been doing my show for eight years. Just had the eight year anniversary. Nice. Two shows, two shows a week for eight years. Um, when I don't release a show, I make sure to release like an extra, a, an extra one the next week. Yeah. Um, I hit my days. I hit my quota. I guess you could say. And it's like, yo, it's not always gonna be fun, bro. <laughs> no. Like you're not always gonna be excited about it, but it's like you gotta get shit done. There's an expectation. There's a service that you're providing to people whether it's from an entertainment Mm -hmm. aspect whether it's informative whether you're their main source of sports content or sports betting content which is what my show is about yeah whatever it might be it's like you have an expectation to To fulfill fulfill. Mm -hmm. to the people that listen to you and i always like to i don't call my fans or listeners fans or listeners i call them my boss Oh, I like my, that. That's my perspective because yeah, at the end of you got to answer to you. them. They're, yeah. they're my employee. If yeah. they tell me like, yo, that content that you're putting out is whack, it's like, think okay, it, yeah. yeah, I got to think about it. And, yeah. and look, like there are trolls uh, without question, but eventually over the years when you've been doing it long enough and you build a Discord community that I have for my show, you build a, there's like a couple thousand people that listen to each episode and then they go when I tell them to go do something. Yeah. Right? Like- Dude, I've had in the past, I've been like, yo, tweet at this girl that I want to take her to dinner. Uh, and there'll be like f- 50 to 100 <laughs> tweets be like, yo, answer the DM because nice. like, I'm a shooter. Like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like if I find you attractive, yeah, I want to take you to dinner. I'm a classy individual. I'm a cl- <laughs> right? So like, I'm sorry I find you attractive. I have to apologize for sliding Dude, So in- you're a chaser? Oh, 100%. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that okay, so consider. Yeah, I'd be reckless with like some of the, in respectful ways. You what know? do you like, mean by that? Like I'll just be like, yo, I have a, I have one of the greatest pickup lines of all time. Okay, okay. Let's like, help a homie out. <laughs> it's, yo, help it's, a homie yo, out. Yo, listen, I've I've told my friends to use this, and they're like, bro, this is genius. It works every time. I get a response every single time. What? What is it? I tell a girl it would be an honor if you broke my heart. What the fuck? <laughs> and I left you on red. Yo, okay, <laughs> listen, it works every single time because the girl Does is it really? like. Every single time that I've shot that immediate like message, they're like, no, I wouldn't want to do that to you. And then I'd be like, oh, it's cool if you want to. And then before you know, it's like, hey, what's good? And then I start the conversation. Yo, Karen, I'll show you DMs. It works every single really? time. Really? Yeah. And I'll be reading. I'll be leaving it on comments. Like I'll be DMing everything. Because you know what? I, I just want to say like like for the guys that are listening. When they say the whole like like you got to really think about how many bitches no, excuse me, how many dudes are hitting up these bitches in the DMs and saying, hey, beautiful, hi. Like, there is, like, you have to come up with something so different for me to even want to open your And that's not different? Even if it's corny, that's not different, though? It's different, it's different, but I'm like, the things that, like, make me answer DMs is shit that's, like, like... Hey, you want to work? It's the funny shit, too. Like, I always get my girls with the funny shit. Like, I'll hit them with something funny, and I'll get a reply back. But if I, like, if it's not funny, they definitely leave me on red. Yeah, (laughs) it got to be fun. It got to be silly. You know what I mean? Like, I've also said other shit where I'll just be like, I'll send them a picture of themselves. I'll be like, I want you to know this fucked up my whole day. (laughs) Why? And they'll just be like, oh, my God, what do you mean by that? Like, I'm telling you, these work all the time. So you, even if you find it corny, it's not for everybody. No. Right? Like, yeah. not everything is for everybody. <laughs> but I've I've done fairly well for myself. It works. I how, see. It, like, yeah. what? I was like, how would you want a guy to pick? Like, how, is, how do you want no, a guy it, to slide in your shit? That's the <laughs> thing is I'm like, I'm like, nothing really gets my attention unless it's, like, work or or they're roasting me. Right. Like if you're roasting, like if they, like if a dude really like comes in here and be and he's like, like, oh my god, your face looks like this. I'm like, that was a good one. That was funny. I can't even be mad. What's your name? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna follow you back. You're funny, and especially if they have funny content. Like, funny content gets me. But, um, personally, 
I've done the Instagram DM bullshit so many times. Like, like this was like back in like 2018, 2019 that like I haven't met somebody off of Instagram in like four years. Mm. I don't like like if I don't meet you organically, you're not getting you're not getting my attention. You're not getting in my pants. I feel you on that because I also I also like uh, like I just recently got off like all the dating apps yeah. just because they were wild distracting. You you know it's funny. I was on like every dating app. Only like I would put stuff on there and be like, oh, I don't answer my DMs here. Hit me on Instagram. Followers, 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 followers. I don't answer shit, bro. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> some what? some of these dudes still don't. Yeah, because they're airheads. Yeah, my point. But it still works. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like, if you if you see me on a dating app, I'm not trying to date. Yeah. Me personally. I'm like, I don't know about other girls, but I'm like, if you see me and my picture on a dating app, I'm not answering back. Yeah, no, nah, you use it for like promotional services. Yeah, that is no, nah, I get free it, man. Advertisement. I get, I get it. I totally get it. I've been on some like horrible dates out here. Like I'm talking about from like, Instagram or like from meeting people on yeah, socials. Yeah, yeah. Because dating apps are is is dating apps considered like social media? Bro, I feel like Instagram's a dating app. Yeah, practically. Holy shit! Yeah, you're not is wrong it, about that. Is it not? You're not wrong about that. Hey, I see that you know this person. We have mutual friends, and then you spark up a conversation, and it's it's a it's a safer. Not, I don't want to say safer because it'll be misconstrued because yeah. like people are weird as shit too. But like, it's just more uh, inviting, I would say, right? Like, yeah. if I was to DM you, and say we hadn't met, mm -hmm. and I found you attractive, and I was mm -hmm. like, hey, I see you work at Sticky Paws. I'm there often. I do a show. My name's Nick. I'm cool with George and Austin. Yeah. I know John. I'm not lying. Yeah. And then you'll be like, oh, okay, this dude, I, you know, he's cute or whatever it might be, yeah. or he's slick or whatever. I yeah. like his content. Yeah. Hey, Austin, hey, George, who is this guy? And then they'll be like, oh, I know him. That's my guy, this and that. And definitely. And is. then you yeah. kind of put your guard down in a positive sense. Yeah. Right? Like, I've always felt like the next girl that I'd probably date or be in a serious relationship with, because I haven't had a girlfriend since high school. What? Yeah, I haven't had, like, a, and what I mean by that is, like, I've, I've like, You've dated, not I've had dated, a girlfriend. I've dated, but but what I mean is like, hey ma, this is Katie. Uh, this is my girlfriend. Yeah, like, I haven't had that. Yeah. Or even with my friends, I'll be like, yo, this is so and so. And you don't introduce these girls to your friends either. No, oh, I do a, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. But it's just been since. But like, wifey meets the fam, and they just haven't oh, gotten that far. You... So I haven't had like a real girlfriend like that since high school, and uh, I've always felt like for me. And just the way I am, I would feel better if I met someone through friends and like they kind of vouch for them. It's like yeah. a trust thing. It's like okay, you got you're cool with them. I can yeah, cool with or, you or it's like yo, bro, work. if you if you're like yo, dude, I know this girl. Like, say you and I, I know us two just met, but we're becoming best friends. Right? Like, <laughs> but even like with Lana, right? Like I know Lana for about a year now. I think I know, yeah, her, right? Yeah, because like, I, I moved out here in September, so I'm. I'm yeah, met and you, you like you, shortly you, after. I met you like right when I started in Sticky Paws. Yeah, and I've been here almost a year. So yeah, because like you was like interning, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even like Lana, she would be like, "Hey, I know I I got this one friend. I think you guys would be great." I'd be like, "Okay, I'd be open to that because like I know her. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like trust, trust her. their opinion." Yeah. Yeah, until proven wrong, right? Yeah. Like if I if I end up going out with Diana because Lana vouched for it, and then she's a psychopath or like it just don't work out, I'd be like. Yo, Lana, maybe next time you tell me about Michelle, I might be a little bit more hesitant. Can it's I, a trial and error. Wait, <laughs> right. I did that to somebody. Remember? I did that with this girl named Frankie. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my fault, but it was like like she 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 was she was helping me with like OnlyFans and and content stuff like how to do hashtags, how to post, how to like really catch an algorithm. She was teaching me stuff. She was smart as shit. But then one of my friends was like, yo, that girl that you're, like, doing content with, she's hot as fuck. Like, can you introduce me? And I was like, I was like, so listen, I was like, because he lives in Cali, she lives in Cali. He was going to come out here to do a podcast with me. And he was like, hey, tell you what, I'll give I'll give Frankie a ride. She can come with me. And and uh, what is it? And, and we could all do content together. And I was like, oh, then, yeah, that's the way you guys can, like, organically meet. You guys can, like have a four-hour car right over here he um <laughs> i already have feelings of how this story goes <laughs> oh <Continue>. bro <laughs> my thing is you have no idea you have no clue my thing is is 
I just know her because of content. I don't know her. Right, right, right. Right? But so he, you're like friends because of work as opposed to sense, like actual friends. And, and mind you, like when, when I met her, she left me like outside of her house for like seven hours so that she can go fuck a guy. She was like, um, she, she, the, the site, she came to my house and she came to my house and was like, no, actually, actually, she came to Sticky Paws and started rolling blunts. Like, by, like in here, just like rolling weed, had her dog in here when I told her that her dog wasn't allowed. And like, like just little things where I found her completely disrespectful and super crazy, right? So when he met her, he was like, you know, you're friends with her. And I was like, I don't really know her like that. But yeah, she's cool. Like, she's not a terrible person, but she's cool. Bro, this bitch went fucking ape shit. Why? I have never seen her like fuck a person kind of deal like I've never seen her in a relationship and how she acts in a relationship I just know her off of like like we talk about literally only hashtags and Instagram and and stuff like that she goes and has sex with this dude first night they met first night they met I'm talking when he met her he picked her up four-hour car ride to Vegas they did a podcast bro hold on a four-hour car ride is also like five dates (laughs) <laughs> all in one. So you're probably bonding and shit. So you definitely not, get to know that person. Wait, yeah, yeah, it's not, a it's four not hour, that long. Yeah, yeah, see, even Austin knows. Austin knows the story of this girl. A four-hour car ride, for sure, it's like five dates for like a normal person. For me, I'm like, that's one smoke sesh. If One smoke sesh? One smoke sesh is like a cool four hours. You're getting to know people real deep, right? Mm. Four-hour car ride to Vegas. They come out here. They hit it off. They end up doing the podcast. They went to dinner afterwards, and they disappear. So he fucks her. She fucks him. He was like, I thought it was going to be like a one-time deal. Like, I just thought she was cool. Like, I just, and I'm like, yeah, no, bro. I was like, you think she's cool. She had a whole hour, a four-hour car ride with you. She's in love. Like, she's, she's ape shit in love with you. To the point, she found out he was married. Whoa. He was like, I just thought she was hot. I was the one to pick her up and wanted her on my podcast. He was like, no, 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 no. I'm like, you didn't tell her you were married? No, I didn't tell her I was married. She found out. Calls his wife. Good for her. (laughs) No, not good for her. Yeah, bro. No, not good. I'm against that shit, honestly. No, no, no. I'm against it, too. Give me, hear me out. I'm against it. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be fucked up. He paid her. If you have a four-hour car ride and you learn who this girl is, OnlyFans has, you know, she she does she does sexual, you know, favors for money. If you know this about her and you paid her, bitch, it's your responsibility to stay the fuck quiet. That's the whole point of you being paid. You stay quiet about it. That's kind of that's kind of the deal. I'm sorry. If whether you're a sugar baby, whether you're a side chick that's getting paid for it, whether you're a hoe, an escort, or you're a fucking stripper, you're getting paid for what? To stay the fuck quiet about it. That's the main reason why you get paid for it. That is no that is top notch. It is not for the sexual favor. It is not. It is to do the sexual favor and keep your fucking mouth shut about it. And number she didn't one keep rule. number one rule. That bitch didn't keep her fucking mouth shut about it. So she goes and calls the wife, and I was like, bro, messy. She told the wife about me. She told his wife that he's been fucking me. I never touched him. I got involved in this shit because she was jealous of the fact. She got jealous of the fact that he had asked me to be his sugar baby first. And she found out after she had sex with him. Because I was like, you fucked him? And she was like, yeah, just I'm so in love with him. And I was like, I was like, mommy, like, be careful. Because that's because I knew he was married. She didn't. But that's not my business to tell. So I was like, just be careful. I was like, be careful. Because he, I was like, he doesn't want a relationship. He wants a sugar baby. And he, she's like, how did you know? Because he asked me. He asked you? Goes and fucking tells his wife that I fucking said that she that he wanted to be my sugar baby and that he asking me to be a sugar baby. She fucked him and had sex with him, but then she was telling him that, oh, you need to be careful with Lana because she's fucking your husband. And I'm like, I'm like, sweetheart, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even. I, ooh, I was about to say something super disrespectful. Never mind. I wouldn't touch him. 
basically. I would not touch him. Like, it's, I found him to be cool, but I wouldn't touch him with a fucking 10 foot pole. I wouldn't even touch her with a 10 foot pole, bro. She came into the studio, sat on this chair, did a whole hour podcast, and she's moving, being animated, gets up, gets out. Fucking chair smells for like the next 10 minutes. Hmm. Huh. Like, I was like, but, but, because I knew her and because I said, people said I vouched for her and shit. And I was like, no, she's cool. She's nice. But all I know is this about her. Then all of a sudden it's, Lana, she's fucking crazy. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know there was anything to tell. I've never seen her in a fucking relationship. Yeah, that was that was a whole mess. There's a lot to dissect there in that entire rant that you <laughs> went on. But, I mean, you're putting me on game, though, because I didn't even know all that. I kind of, like, I, uh, I've never ventured into that. What? As far as like paying, yeah, it's never like, Dude. yeah. I I feel like I've I've always done for someone that w- like just got uh started making like career money and mm-hmm. just started kind of being successful. It feels weird saying that because for like, the longest you're time, like, I'm on fun. sugar daddy level, bro. I no, could no, pay no. a bitch. <laughs> no, but like, yo, I, I I feel like a lot of a lot of dudes have like that go down that route just struggled with women growing up yeah totally and that's a way for them to compensate yes 100 percent. and like i like my my friends and i we always used to pride ourselves to this day we're like bro we we had a lot of fun and we were broke bro (laughs) we was a good time yeah Yeah. and like and like even like even like interacting with girls like you know we uh, us growing up like my friends and i and this is like through high school and even like early college because like, I mean, honestly, I didn't really start making money until like 18 months ago. Yeah. Prior to that, I was working with my dad. I felt super insecure because um, my whole life I wanted to uh, do something in the sports field, right? Like mm-hmm. every kid growing up wanted to be an athlete and then you realize like, yo, you're 5'10 and white. You have like, <laughs> there's a certain ceiling that you can fulfill. So I figured let me just talk about it and, and the sports betting <laughs> stuff. And one thing leads to another and I kind of just fell in love with the content. So all I ever wanted to do was just do that full time. Like yeah. I didn't want to flip eggs anymore working with my dad. And just like growing up, like m- my one friend Dylan and I, uh, we would always say like, bro, we're mad cool, son. Like <laughs> our crew is just dope, bro. And then like growing up, we would hang out with like, like this group of girls, like they would come around and they had just like finished like hanging out or like fucking with these other dudes that were like rich and wealthy right, you know right. like daddy's money and whatnot because like when you're 18 like what kind of money you got you don't yeah. got no money it's your family's money yeah. right drug money and or that <laughs> or, or that. that yeah we had a, we had a lot of that in queens too for sure but we'd always be like the girls would always be like yo you guys are way cooler and like right. mad cool and i was like bro like the day we get money too All right exactly bro, it's now rap. we're gonna be cool dudes and money yeah because at the end of the day like like a lot of these dudes that have to pay for pussy you're just a loser that has money now. Like you were just you like back in the day, you were a loser that couldn't get bitches. Now you're a loser that can't get bitches with money. Yo, so I'm glad that you bring that up because uh, I had told you some of like uh, I have a couple theories. Okay. And one of them has to do with that. Oh. I have an unbelievable ability of being able to figure out within a five minute combo with a dude that I meet how they fared with women growing up. <laughs> Are you serious? I swear to God. How? It's just the vibe. They're, yeah. Especially if they're like successful. Oh. Like if they're like, if their whole persona is money and like oh. I have money, like this like fucking alpha male shit and like high value man shit. We've had these conversations in the past. Like immediately, like when I interact with them, I'm like, you struggled with girls. You just got popping and started making money. That's why you're, this is like your whole shtick. Yeah, because they, they act different. Like, they act different. <laughs> like, bro, like, who hurt you? Like, it wasn't me. No, No, okay. but, like, who hurt you? Like, honestly, like, yo, g- growing up, I've had two serious relationships, like, two girlfriends in high school, and then one, like, bled into college. And, like, my first girl cheated on me. Bitch. I don't, I don't, like, no, nah, not even, bro. Like, yo, that... It shit, happens. shit happens. I'm not gonna hate every girl that I meet now, or like no, but every she's girl. a bitch. <laughs> sure, <laughs> that <I> mean, one. <laughs> that, but like, yo, that's that's fine. I don't have no resentment for that. And and like, what now? Every girl I meet, I gotta be like, oh, she's a piece of shit because of fucking what that girl did. Like, right. I never, I never understood this, and it's a gripe that I have with girls. And I would love to get your input on this. You being a, a young, attractive female yourself. Thanks. 
Why? Where do you see that at? Why? That, <laughs> that's me, bro. She got the hoodie on, man. Come on, that's style points right there. Uh, no, nah, but yo, on a serious note, right? Like, I've had conversations with either girlfriends or just like and girls that I'll meet like on dates and they'll like tell me about their trauma and whatnot. And I'd be like, what does that have to do? Like, I wasn't the, Kyle was the piece of shit. Kyle! Why is, like, that's my go-to name and shout out. I got two friends that I do jujitsu with, Kyle, just nicest kids ever. No and uh, like, just, I'm always just like, like yo, Kyle is the, the first name I think of. Like, like, yo, that's a piece of shit dude, right? Now you're a loser that can't get bitches with money. Yo, so Yo, I know, me too, but it's it's so weird because like I got cool with them within the last year since I moved out here, but like, I don't know. In my head, I was just like, "Yo, Kyle is always just <laughs> you're a, like you're, a piece of shit. you're just a, always a low life." <laughs> Sound and, like Cartman from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, I would just feel as if like, what is what does that have to do with me? How come if if us two started dating, why would you have your guard up? Because the guys that you used to fuck with in the past were pieces of shit. What does that have to do with me? It's not that it has anything to do with you. Is that we we the trauma is that we start reading signs that probably don't have mm. anything to do with you. Okay. So if we got cheated on, I like this. If, not the cheating on part. No, no. no but but I like, like where you going? For example, <laughs> for example, if we got cheated on, if I got cheated on, and it was because my boyfriend kept acting like like every time he was on his phone, he'd be like, you know, hey babe, let me look at your phone, or like, or if I walk behind him, he just goes like this. It's a trauma that you're like, what the fuck was that? Mm. And then you go and you actually check his phone, and he's actually you know texting other bitches. He's paying for hookers or like you find out he's a pimp or something like you find out something stupid and then you're like now i know there's a body language that i have to look out for that'll mean this not necessarily that it'll be you per se but it's our trauma that we're just like if if you know like like if he starts ignoring me like all of a sudden if you're if you're leaving me on red you might just actually be busy but her ex-boyfriend pretended to be busy <clears throat> excuse me he pretended to be busy and he was out doing his thing and with he was someone doing else. his thing with his assistant or yeah. some shit and then you know now it's with now with you i'm like you say you're busy but like you're you're not texting me you're not doing that you're like i'm actually fucking busy bitch and then and if you actually and if you defend yourself now you're defensive yeah defensive is a whole nother thing like oh now you're projecting Oh, yeah. you're projecting because it's it, a spiral, right? It's a fucking spiral, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's nah, like, I love that you bring that up, though, because I never thought of it that way. That's why I love, like, I like to tell people I'm a professional conversationalist. Yeah. Like, I like <laughs> way to put and, it. Yeah. Yeah. Way to That's put another it. Of line I tell people, <laughs> too, bro. Right? <laughs> and uh, I like learning. Like, yeah. I'm, if, if I'm interested in a topic or something, I'm like, you know, I hate horoscopes. But mm -hmm. I, I'm starting to, under, even though I think it's crazy and yeah. I think it's dumb, I, I get it when people talk about the certain tendencies that someone might have yeah or like the triggers like you said um because like it's just uh it's it's like the whole the i forgot where i was going with this fuck astrology yeah astrology sucks <laughs> but um <laughs> but it, it does like it makes sense even though i don't understand it i don't need to and i feel like no. a lot of people don't you don't need to understand everything just like everything isn't made for you well, I feel like I feel like astrology is like a it's like a religion. It's not. I'm mm. not saying it is because people are gonna get on my ass about it. It's not a religion. I said it's like a religion because it's just something that we believe in that keeps you hopeful, that keeps you kind of like it just it, like I don't know. It keeps you grounded. Like keeps you grounded. Keep That's a good like, word. Like trying to succeed in life. Yeah. Like, instead of like fucking up and doing wrong and doing bad to people, you know, like kind of gives you like a guidance to like do like like yeah like something good in life you know because like, it's it, it's kind of like the i feel dumber hearing this <laughs> why what is me being born on march 11th it's the numbers uh, game have, but that's it's just the numbers thing but if you've heard that numerology stupid like and that's a that's a whole nother that's a whole nother argument that people say numerology is like a fucking dumbass thing but like the it's the numbers game of like if you if you constantly see like me i see 333 a lot and i see 33 a lot and I'm like, where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? And then when you research it, it like, it's like it just means that your life is getting set. Your life is getting set. Like you're settling. You're settling. And then every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I'm like. Then you um, actually like see it happening. And when like, you it see it happening, happening, it makes sense. Hey, uh, Lana, you forgot to take your medication. I That's why you've been seeing numbers. Uh, we got to get you remedicated <laughs> again. <laughs> Dumbass.
Fucking Austin. Enjoy that one. <laughs> I know, because they're going to give me hell for that one. Like, she does need to be medicated. My medication is shrooms. And weed. And weed. <laughs> And then on a, on occasion Virgo. some semen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're such a you're such a, a Virgo. I, I you're such a Virgo. I'm like, yeah, I'm a cancer. Like, I knew it. And I'm like, that's why I know you're full of shit because I'm not. Like, no, yeah. you, th there's there's certain things where like I don't believe in that too much. Like like I'm very like when when people give out the the Capricorn personalities, I'm like, oh, I do do that. Oh, I do do that. But I'm like. But so do Virgos. I'm like, if I look up the characteristics of a Virgo, I'm like, oh, I do that too. Like, I want to yeah, take I'm 30 kind. Advils right now <laughs> at once. It'd be my last headache. Then don't talk about it. Why'd you bring it up? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> just, yeah, you're right, you're right. That's, you're, you're absolutely right. Can I tell you another theory I have? Yeah. So when I see a, uh, a, big, a big green flag for me uh -huh. on social is when a girl tags her friends in pictures. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Can I tell you why? Yes, please. I already know, I know why. why. I already know why, know why I but know. I want to okay, hear okay. it. I want to hear All right. it. So my friend Dylan and I, we have this theory that when a girl is fine yeah, and she doesn't tag her friends, insecure. she's insecure. insecure. I knew it. Yeah, let's go. But when she tags her friends and they're like hotter than her. Yeah. Like nineteen green flags. Nineteen, yeah, no, All right. 100%. It's like something she's, I gotta look out for now. She's like <laughs> confident. She, yeah. kno she like she knows she's popping, even though her friend is bad. Yeah, she'll like show her love also, and I call it the at theory when it comes to girls. Oh, the at theory. And she then adds I have her friends. She <laughs> adds her friends, and then I have the other the other at theory, and this one's gonna get some hate. Ooh. I feel like a girl should have to at her plus one at least once once a month on social. What plus one? What do you mean? Like who who her man is. Ooh. I get to keep it private because I nothing turns me on more than when a girl has a private Instagram. Yeah. Like that's dope. Yeah. Now, if it's your business, if it's like you're a content creator, by yeah. all means, totally. But if you're like, I don't know, a fucking accountant. Yeah, you work at a bank. Yeah. like And your titties to, are still to, out. To me, to me, I find that sexy. Like mm -hmm. to me, it's, it, it's a turn on. Um, but like when you see girls, like they'll have like the the hands you know like the the hand like hand over hand like the guy is oh, driving the <laughs> it's like, bro, what do they call it a, the IG a soft I, launch if they don't if if, if michael sartain and rolo call it a soft launch i i call it if she don't tag you she don't love you oh my god you know it's funny that's I, my ad theory my ex-boyfriend literally just said that about me because he will his argument he he was doing shit behind my back where 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 it looked like he was spending the night at somebody's house. He told me he don't love you. No 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 no. Whoa, <laughs> he did, but <laughs> no motherfucker. Like he was just it, bro. Like he knows he knows what I'm talking about. He was slimy, bro. He was slimy as bitch, bro. He was slimy <laughs> as a fucking cock. I fucking hate him. He no, I don't hate him. I really don't. I would like hi. Like he he wait. Where was I going with that? You made me lose my train of thought. What were we talking about? We were talking about uh, your ex-boyfriend or boyfriend. The, 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 oh, tagging. Okay, yeah. so he kept telling me that, that, because I was like, you're doing something. You obviously are not somewhere, you're somewhere that you're not supposed to be. What the fuck are you doing? And you're lying to me. He lied to me before about being with his mom, and I caught him with two other bitches. Caught him. Literally was there, seen it with my eyes. It wasn't like someone sent me something. No, I seen it. Pulled up on him and was like, what the fuck are you doing? Kind of thing. So I had my insecurities. He was telling me, I will tag you. I will post you right now and tag you. I'm like, that means absolutely nothing to me. Because my thing is, I could tag you. You could tag me all day. Who the fuck doesn't? I could still be paying the fucking side chick to keep quiet. Like you could still be, you could still be doing your thing on the side. Like you could love somebody by posting them on social media, but social media doesn't mean fucking shit to me, and especially to me. Mm. You could, I've no, had boyfriends post me in the past, and they still cheated on me. These bitches knew about me. These girls knew about me because I was on social media, yeah. and they still were fucking sucking my dude's dick. So I, I hate like generalizing, just. Anything. Everybody, right? Yeah, like I always feel like everything is a case by case, right? Yeah. Because I know I know couples that post the shit out of each other, and they are madly in love with one another. Yeah. 
And then I know couples that post the shit out of each other and they hate each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And they yeah. ju- they're just together because of optics or whatever it might be. And then on the flip side, I know mm-hmm. couples that never post each other and they're in love. And then I know couples that never post each other and they hate each other. Exactly. So it's all a case by case. But I just feel like, especially as a uh, 32-year-old single male whose favorite color is yellow and has a lot of charisma, <laughs> I would like to know if a girl is seeing someone. Because I don't like to waste my time. Yeah. Like if I know for a fact you have a girl, uh, a boyfriend, I'm not going to hit you up. Right. I'm not. It's never been my thing. My mom has always told me from a young age, like, yo, you got to treat girls the way you would want me to be treated. Like my mom. The way your mom. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like my the, God. That's a and, big. Yes. And like I always think of things like, <clears throat> all right, if I do some like whole shit to a girl, how would my mom feel about that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Have I had my fuckboy stage? Yeah, 100%. I'm not going to yeah. deny it. But yeah. I was also, like, classy about it. I never I never told a girl, like, I'm going to sell you stars and dreams and right. shit. I'd be like, hey, man, I'm not really looking to settle down. I kind of want to. It's the summer. You're honest. If you want to. If you want to have fun and, like, I'm not talking to anyone else, but I don't want to put a title to it, cool. You want to continue? Fine. Like, I've had a lot of girls just be like, yeah, I don't I don't want to fuck with you. I'll be like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Like, it's cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I want to pursue you. I want something more serious. And I've had girls tell me, like, yeah. yo, I kind of just want to, like, you know. But that's that's also something that's kind of situational, too. Cause, sure. Because you could, you could literally, like, I could post my boyfriend right now, and I will still have guys that will be like, I'm better than him. I can promise you that. Let me take you out on a date, and I can guarantee you. But I feel like you got to police that. Oh, I... <sighs> Right. Me, bro? I embarrass you for doing stuff yeah. like that. Like, don't talk about my dude like that. No, nah, I'm like, for if sure. you're going to talk about my dude like that, and you're going to think that you have, like, this amazing dick that's just going to, like, make me change my mind, I'm going to make you prove it and embarrass you. Well, I also think that I have, I have a friend of mine who's dating this girl, and he's kind of he's kind of insecure about it because she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. She's like... And he's a, not? Nah, he's not. Like, yeah. he's... He's average. I love you, bro. But, I love uh, you, bro. <laughs> but like, yo, yo. So here's the thing. I have another theory. What? Everyone dates either up or down. I like ugly guys. So it's it's not a like it's not a bad thing. Like I, no. the the last girl that I was kind of serious with was a fourteen out of ten. Damn. She was way hotter than I yeah. was. But I would tell her, I'm like, I'm definitely way cooler. Like you can't have it all. <laughs> You gotta <laughs> have like right. you can't have it all, bro. Like you gotta you That's gotta right. compromise somewhere. <laughs> like fuck, like, you, you ain't gotta... funnier than me. <laughs> yeah, like you're not just like you're not doper than I am. Like that's just not like My you dude are. <laughs> the being funnier than me. I'm like I'm usually like. I'm I'm the I'm the pretty one and the funny one. But then like if my dude. If I'm with somebody and he's butt ass ugly, I can guarantee you, bro, he is making me laugh. Yeah, my he ass bring, off. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. So I feel as if um someone always dates down or dates up. Like that's yeah. just like what it is. You, yo, one of my life goals. And yeah. if you follow me on social media, like You know this? Yeah, you would know this. Like I tell my friend Dylan again, I'm like, yo, you know what I would love one day to happen? I wanna date like a celebrity, like someone like famous. And I want TMZ to be like, she's dating him. <laughs> that would make my fucking life. And I want the picture to be like okay, something wait. like really embarrassing too. Like I would not Like give you a drunk day. taking a piss on somebody's tire. Bro, I'll show you. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's I holding showed your up, hand. <laughs> I showed up. I put up a picture of like a body transformation that I had. <laughs> and and uh, it's it's pretty rough. Like this is me. This is me in 2016. Oh, shit. That's me in 2016, and that was me like two weeks ago. Really? And I told my boys, I was like, this is the picture I want them to use, bro. Okay, close up. Can, can, you we, get, can we get, hold on. Let me yeah, do this. Hold on. I gotta do this. He's like, wait, I'm right. Damn. Yeah, homie. Damn. All right, Mr. Muscles. Right? He's like, I got to I want I want them to use that photo, bro. <laughs> That's the photo I want them to use. And I want people to be like, howdy. I want to be a howdy. How do you do that? How do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> do that? <laughs> That's a good okay, one. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Not even to brag, because a lot of people don't even know it. I've dated celebrities, bro. It is not. Like, there's no difference. It's not anything that's cracked up to be. It's fucking 
they they're secretive too they cheat too and they're it's just not even worth it because i'm like the people that i've dated i'm like you would think you were worth it like people like you you would label yourself worth it because a lot that's what people do nowadays like yeah. everybody just thinks they're worth fucking something that they're not and i'm like you weren't worth a fucking sh you weren't worth shit as a person as a celebrity oh yeah you're a fucking quality right work. right right you have quality but work. once again like i was saying before like you can't have it all you can't have it all bro no, and that 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 to me like and i don't know i feel like guys and girls are different because like if i if i was seen with like I fucking love Becky G. You know Becky G? Yeah. She's I mean, beautiful. Great girl. She's I mean, cute. She's super cute. Great girl. <laughs> um, my stock would go up. My stock. <laughs> would it not? Would it, it not? Would. Wouldn't you no, feel? No, a thousand percent. Wouldn't you feel? Because I, I, have, I have friends that girls would not give them the time of day. And then they would date someone like out of their league. Yeah. And then the other girls would be like, what the, what the fuck what's going, going on, on? Mm -hmm. and then they become more attractive because yeah. of who they're with yeah you know so like yeah i'm being playful and shit but but that's a whole nother thing too is i'm like like women would do some stupid shit like that like like i don't want you but then they see you with a fucking with a certain girl oh yeah i mean that's that's they see you any guy knows this the moment a guy gets a girl mm-hmm they, all they flock, bro. Yeah, bro. Non stop. Non stop. And then when you're single, nothing. nothing. Dry as shit. Dry as fuck, homie. Bro, it happens all the time. Every time. I don't. Yeah. Every time. I don't get it. I personally don't get it because I'm like, if I was, if I was talking to a dude, my thing is, if I'm talking to a dude and then I reject them, and all of a sudden I see them with a bitch or they like, pull, now they're posting a girl. I'm like. You was just in my DMs two weeks ago, or like something like that. That that pisses me off. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta move on. Yeah, I get, <laughs> I get the move, move on, on like, but I'm like, you have a, because I'm thinking if you have a girlfriend. Oh no! If you have a girlfriend, that's crazy. But I'm saying like now I'm single, right? So if a girl airs out a DM of mine from two weeks ago, but then when I'm hanging out with you, I'd be like, yeah, bro, I'm kind of like, talking... you know, I, I, I don't got a girl, I can't get in trouble. So but I'm you're just gonna kinda... get with a girl after two weeks because my hear hear me out. I'm this not is... talking about a no physical... no no. Wait, hear me out. I'm talking about timeline here. If two weeks ago, if two weeks, because I'm just thinking about how fast people actually move. If t if I was talking to you Life two is weeks short, ago, girl. No, we, got, no. we gotta get it going. If it's two weeks ago and you're talking, you're talking to me, and we went, we we were talking maybe for about a week, and then I was like, hey, I didn't like it. Two weeks later, I see that you have a girlfriend. Not that you're seeing somebody. Oh, yeah, no, nah, that's I crazy. see that you have a girlfriend. Because now, now I'm like, okay, maybe it's the first post. And I'm like, oh, yeah, but I've been talking to her. I, I didn't know how much I was in love with you and all this bullshit. And I'm like, so two weeks ago, you was talking to both of us? Or you was just talking to me and you're just moving that like that far? Like, you're you're a love bomber. Yeah. Which I'm like, to me, and in, in general, I'm like, all right, I saved myself there. Because a love bomber, how do you feel about love bombers? Let's talk about that. Can you elaborate more by what a you mean? A love about? bomber, someone that you meet, all of a sudden, two weeks later, they're in love with you. They want to marry you. They want to have babies with you. You're the fucking best thing they had in the world. They're buying you like shit. Like clingy, like. Like clingy to the max. Yeah. Like I'm talking like they want to move in and it's only like been a psycho month. psycho killer, like psycho killer. Like lesbians, <laughs> like lesbian relationship, U-Haul lesbian type vibe where you're like, oh my God, like I've met you. We've been great for three whole weeks i think i'm in love with you i think i want to be with you like we're we're in it together we're gonna have babies come inside me that's a love bomb how you feel about those bro i've been that it's happened it's happened before it's happened before it's happened before where i'm just but like, you learn your lesson yeah i've only done that with females like yo there there's been a time where oh, like you made me a copy I and uh this. yeah <laughs> I don't know. I just what the fuck? I thought that was a part of the set, honestly. I didn't even think that that was a what thing. Did that? Thank you, Austin. But yo, I've uh I've definitely been on that side too. Yeah. And the craziest thing, you know how I know that that was the case cuz we didn't even hook up. Hook up just, meaning yeah. sex. Yeah, yeah, like You're sexual. the type that waits for sex? No, no, I'm not saying waits for oh. sex, but like like I was head over heels for this girl and we didn't even hook up. Oh. It wasn't like I fell in love with that, you know yeah. what I mean? Just her personality. Was yeah, like she was board. just dope, yeah. bro. And I was like, yo, I could definitely. And she was also Colombian, so that definitely. Oh, that lily. Hey, but, uh, next girl, see if they have family member. I need some uh, under the transport. Bro, <laughs> yo, yo, listen, man. 
You speak Spanish? Hell no. Nah? Oh, damn. Go, I'm, I'm trying I to, need lo- to learn. I'm trying to learn, bro. I went no, to Colombia like, in August, and that shit was... I feel like the fact that he don't know Spanish is a lot of the reason why you're not in prison. Or chopped up. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You would know more than me. I don't want to get into that. But, uh, yo, Love Bomber, like, yeah, I think there's... So I think there's levels to, like, clingy and crazy that's, like... And even creepy that's attractive. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. Like, what's the creepiest thing you've ever done? Creepiest thing yeah, like I've as, done? As far, yeah, when it comes to like the opposite sex or someone that you found attractive. I'll tell you mine. The creepiest oh. thing I've ever done is I've altered a gym schedule of mine so I could go to the gym at the same time that this girl was gone. I have never That's done. like the creepiest thing. And like I've told some of my girlfriends that. They're like, oh, that's not. Wait, like I didn't follow her to her car and shit. Stocky just, vibes. <laughs> like, yo, I just knew that she worked out at 4 p.m. And I, I would usually, like, I usually look, work out in the morning. I'm like, yo. Ralph works out at 4 p.m. I got an excuse, but mainly because she was there. Like, that's the creepiest thing that to, I've To, like, done. just to go see her. Yeah, just to go Did see her. Did you actually talk to her? After three months, and then I found out she had a fiancé, and I was <laughs> oh, I was bow. so pissed, bro. <laughs> it took me three months to talk to this girl. And, the, and what's no. crazy is, yo, what's crazy? What's cra- this is the kind of shit that guys do. Guys are listening to this, and if we, if we clip this one, every guy's like, bro, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> it's like, there's these videos that go around where it's like, yo, bro. I'm in love with that girl in the black. And they'll be like, go talk to her. And the guy's like, nope. <laughs> like, that yeah. happens. Yo, that happens a lot. We'll just talk mad shit. We'll be like, yo, man, she's a, like, I like to say she's a great girl. Like, that's Aww, my code. Oh, she's a great I girl. Ju- I just say great girl. Because nowadays, you don't want to say anything that'll be misconstrued. And, you know, people oh, yeah. are very sensitive. For so real. I just say, great girl. My yeah. mom, great girl. Yeah. You, great girl. Thanks. The girl at the gym, great girl. Right? Oh, there's, great. There's a, she had great. frosted flakes hey, on hey, it, bro. What the fuck? There's, 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 there's different levels to great girl, <laughs> you know? So it's a way to, like, be funny and silly, and that's a... Uh, I feel that. I do I do feel that, but I'm like... like. So, again, what's the creepiest thing that you've done? I don't think I've ever done anything that creepy. I now you have, bro. Everyone's done some creepy shit, just like everyone's had regrets, you know? Like... Everyone's done some creepy shit, but there's levels to creepiness where it's like, you know, it could be mm. kind of sexy and attractive. Now I'm not saying I, I followed the girl home from the gym. Like, no, no, I, I know, I know, I know, no. It's and like, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't just, leave the gym. You just made sure to be seen and to see her. Yeah, and yeah. And, and, and I got super sidetracked, but like she talked to me first, oh. and I got rattled, bro. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm, I, I feel like shook I'm, you. Yeah, That's yeah. So cute. Yeah, I was like deadlifting and I don't even like lift heavy. Like I feel like, yo, I do a podcast for a living. I shouldn't need to squat four hundred pounds. I feel like it's not necessary, right, you know? Right. So like just um, light work. Light yeah, work. just yeah, like I just work. wanna get I don't wanna look like I did in that photo. It's like right. my main goal, right? So I was just deadlifting and I was on my phone and she came over to me and asked me something about like she cause cause I do a lot of funky workouts. Like I love kettlebells. Yeah. I'll do a lot of like body plyo shit yeah. for Cause I like to train like I'm still an athlete. Like okay. I like doing physical stuff and like more, uh, in like high intense, Cause you're high not, interval intense. Your thing training. is not to work out. You want to actually be physically, like like you want to be able to move and have range of motion and like yeah, you're like, working I out go, to feel good. Like not yo, to, like, I have friends. Uh, like I said, I'm 32 years old. I have friends that go and play like one game of basketball and then they can't walk for four days. <laughs> and they're my age and I'm like bro like this is what happened you that's guys, what I'm saying yeah. all you guys do is go and like lift heavy weights and like I have other friends that we played football when I was back home every Sunday and like you know the next day we'd go and play soccer like we were still active like I never wanted to be that guy that's like mid mid 30s and like oh man yeah. my back like my that's friends me. my friends that are like oh man my lower back hurts oh, or, or when they tell my other friends I yeah. feel attacked. You what? should. I Did mean, you like, see me stretch this morning? Like, nah, what but the like, fuck? yo, I have friends that they're they're turning thirty, and they'll be like, my friends that are older will be like, dude, once you turn thirty, like your body falls apart. I'm like, no, it doesn't. I feel I feel like I'm 21. Like physically, I feel amazing. How? Because do you every, drink drugs? Nah, I've never taken any drugs. I love to drink. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never done shrooms or smoked weed. Nothing. Would you try shrooms? Nah, not really, man. I just Why? never had. I never had the appeal for it. Just I never was an interest. Shrooms. I love. I love. Uh, I love to drink. I, I definitely like love drinking. to drink. I don't. Yeah. I just don't like the taste. I can't handle the taste. And I like. And I like beer too, man. Like this is a fuel <laughs> tank for ass whoopings because of beer. But like that's my shit. I love drinking beer, and I also could control it too, right? Like if I have three, four beers, I you know. don't get crazy. Yeah. yeah. Or know, if I have three, four shots of tequila or something, then it's like, man, I don't know how it's a, gonna you're hit. You're not me. a violent drunk. 
Nah. You're like a I'm happy not violent drunk? at all, dude. Like I've never gotten into a fight. I've never been like I'm really? very passive. Someone calls me a bitch on the road. I'm like, yeah, it's cool, man. Like it's not even. Yeah. Like why? Why hey, show? I have, to, I have to interrupt. It's what? blunt time. Bella, oh, looking at someone. <laughs> Bella, you don't smoke, huh? I do not know. Damn. Why don't you smoke? Just never was uh, interest of mine. I just what? never. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just never. Okay, okay, okay. Before we get off, usually I ask people a random question. Okay. If you could fuck any food and it wasn't weird, which food would it be? Oh, it's pizza. Pizza? It's my favorite food. Yeah. How would you fuck pizza? I don't know. Probably like fold it up and. Oh, it does fold up like a pussy. Oh, and it even gets the. Would balls. you go from the crust <laughs> side or would you go from the inside? Would you double? F- would you? What's it called? The stuff. Oh, the stuffed cheese. You get the stuffed cheese. I feel, like, stuffed you, cheese, I feel huh? like you gotta go through the crust, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Bro. It'll well, look like a booty hole. If you say, like, that's like dried up booty holes. Huh? My stomach <laughs> growling. I'm like, you said pizza. My stomach started growling. I'm like, damn, I want to. Bro, pizza, 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 French fries, beer, and Cool Ranch Doritos. You are such a bachelor. Of. Those are the reasons why I'm not in better shape. You aside watch Super from, Bowl Sunday and shit, huh? Yeah. I was gonna yeah. say, I'm like, aside from the beer, he sounds like he's like a six year old. No. Pizza, like a, French fries, sounds, and ranch. Sounds like a cause. Nah, nah. Cool Ranch Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos. I'm like, bro. Beer, pizza, and French fries. That's a college frat boy shit right there. <laughs> I never was a, in a frat Wait, party, do you bro. eat dino nuggets? Nah, I do not. Nah. I do. They're bomb as fuck. Try them. Nah. You don't eat chicken nuggets? Nah, and I'm definitely not a frat boy ever. I've never <laughs> been called a frat boy. I'm never, yeah. I wouldn't. I, wouldn't I would think... never want to get my ass whooped to be friends with someone. Like, that's how I felt about fraternities, yo. When I was, when I went, because like, you know how before I was telling you about how I can, I can see a dude and within five minutes I can understand how they were with girls? Yeah. I feel like a lot of people that join fraternities. Oh, explain that. What? Oh, well, explain the fraternities. But explain- so, like, with, with fraternities, right? Like, a lot of people that join them, they they go to a new school. They have trouble making friends. So a fraternity welcomes people in, and they haze you and shit. And then before you know it, like, you have a group of friends. And to me, it was also always, like, you got to put, like, a fucking carrot in my ass to be, like, my yeah, friend. They do oh, that's like, right. The they do. Like, they do, what, they do shit. You're going to have me, like, bro, I had one of my boys, one of my best friends in college. He joined the fraternity. He was telling me some of his stories. Like, he's like, yo, you can't tell anyone. But, bro, it's been, like, 12 years now, so yeah. you'll be fine. But You'll be fine. <laughs> like, they had him butt-ass naked serving drinks, and he was getting whipped. Like, whipped like a fucking leash. Like, whipped. dominatrix shit? Dominatrix Wait, shit. As like was a, he black? No, he wasn't. Right, cool. He was like a white kid. <laughs> I'm from just saying. I'm saying if he's like, white, it's cool. If he's black, bro, like, that's yeah, that's some crazy. Shit. That's crazy. The, the news would have pulled up if that. Was <laughs> right. But like, yo, the guy, the dude, and he's telling me this. I'm like, bro, like, like my thing is why? Because I've never understood that. I remember there was a girl who died because they 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 it was a, a sorority, and the the ladies knew that this girl was scared of open water, not. Pools, and yeah, like oceans and oceans shit. and rivers and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So they made her go in the middle of the night. They made her get into the ocean naked, which is I don't know what's this thing with being naked. Like these are some perverted as people, not to generalize them, but um, they had told her to go into the ocean naked, and she ended up drowning because she couldn't swim back out. Yeah, I mean, yo, there's a lot of hor- horror stories like that. But with the whole with the whole like frat culture, I just feel as if they, and you would hear you would hear things. I'm sorry to cut you off, but like I get really fired up about this because they'll be like, "Oh, it's gonna help you long term. Like you'll be able to get jobs and shit." And be like, "Bro, I dropped out of college and I've been fine. I've just always knew how to talk to people. Yeah. I never have with anyone I interact with. I never try to get anything out of them. Like I kind of like." Humble. Like the people that I fuck with, it's because I really fuck with them. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, and and I just feel like that energy that you put out, it, it comes back. It, it attracts, you mm-hmm. know. Like the way I got that opportunity that that I was telling you about, where I produce this one show now, was just because like, I guess like being from New York definitely helped. But that's another reason why like I'm able to adapt to so many different cultures. I could be in any that's room true. and I could talk to anybody. Like Very true. I talk to people at my job that are like fucking billionaires. And mm-hmm. then I talk to dudes that like are like janitors, in high school, yeah. like my friends that I train with at the gym are like janitors. It's like, yo, I never look at anybody for what they can do for me. I'm kind of like, yo, are you dope? 
Yeah. yeah. I, I fuck with exactly. you, bro. Exactly. Like, Are it, you it don't, dope? It That's don't matter. the best. Like, I think it's. I think we try to make everything so difficult, and it's just like, yo, I love being around you. That's it. I, yo, I make thirty thousand dollars a year. Don't matter, bro. I didn't ask you how much you make. Like, why are you telling me? Like, and it's you fine. Know, you know? Can I tell you something? The funny thing is that I I have been around so many rich people. There was this girl that I was friends with. So like, she she was. We were obsessed with each other. We were like we were like super best friends for a second, but she was she had like she made like like a hundred two hundred thousand dollars a year. I made like probably thirty, and then on, on top of that, I was stripping to make my money. I wasn't I wasn't like the most high up high end person, but she would take me places, right? So she was the person that would go in, and she took me to this like Raiders event, and there was billion like the the guy the guy who uh, the owner of the raiders the one who, who 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 was the reason why the raiders even came to vegas the person who built the allegiant stadium like i was in a room full of like bajillionaires basically so i'm um, i'm in there i'm getting all the attention i'm funny i'm pretty and i'm like i just have like that charisma where i was like i'm like i treat everyone like a homie i don't treat people like i don't walk around classy i just i truly don't people think i'm clear i'm not i walk around and i'm like sup dog why you doing yeah i'm ghetto i'm this i'm that like yeah i'm a little you know i just throw a little joke throw a little roast i make fun of these billionaires and they think it's fucking funny i make fun of myself i introduce myself as anal backwards and they like me this girl bro when i tell you this bitch like got so obsessed with trying to be me like, and not even be like me, like, be me. Like, she was so, like, I want to be like that. I want to, and she, like, she would try to, like, use my lingo and, like, use my words and stuff like that. And I'm, like, to the point where she tried to ruin my life, like, like dead ass. She she kind of, she kind of left me homeless there for a second. And she, she did what she had to do to ruin my life so she can see herself higher up because the people around her wanted to hang out with me and all the people around her want like kept asking for me kept wanting to see me kept wanting to be around me wanting to work with me mm. and i'm like i'm this girl that only makes thirty thousand a year i don't make that much but then she was making so much more money but people would rather work with me than work with her why because my attitude is cool yeah it's also because you didn't put on a persona that I wasn't you no and it's not, again like we we've talked about cliches throughout like i feel like one of the reasons it's always weird when you talk about yourself but I feel like one of the reasons why people fuck with me is because of that. Like what you see on my pod and like my social clips, this is the same dude. Like I same exact. I don't person. know. I don't know how to not be that person. Yeah. And I know. You I don't... know so many people that try to put on like fake the funk, and then eventually the real gets exposed. Oh, it, a thousand right? percent. And, and I'm also like super grateful, man. I talk about this all the time because I'm an only child, mm -hmm. and my close friends, like my boy that's coming this weekend, I know him since I was six years old. He's my oldest Aww. friend. And, like, any time I've been out of pocket or any time I did some, like, ho shit, he'd be the first one to tell he me. Texts you. Yeah, 100%. And I still got friends to this day where, like, I'll wear something on the podcast. They'll yeah. be like, yo, do me a favor never wear that shit again. Like, that was terrible. <laughs> or, like, yo, bro, when are you going to go and get a haircut? Like, what the fuck? Are you trying to get on, See, like, Chance? Yeah. See, I got your back, Like, bro. it's <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, real, it's a real thing, man. And, like, I feel like a lot of those people just, I feel extremely lucky. Yeah. That I had, I had parents that talked mad shit to me, yeah. like in person, yeah, like an HD 4K. Never HD. was like, <laughs> I never had to hear from anyone else. And then I had <laughs> friends that I never took it. That's why I was telling you about like I put people through a test. Yeah. Oh, oh. I put damn. I put people through a test to see if like long term you'll be around for me, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. As I'm pointing at my guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I have to troll you. I need to be trolled back. Oh, yeah. There's a level of trust that I have. There's a level of trust that you have with somebody that you can make racist jokes oh, with or some shit. The Fuck the Raiders. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't even want to talk about the Raiders. I, I, I am feel, so mad that the Raiders are in my city. I just feel as if those no, people... Wait. Good. I am so mad that the Raiders... Are in my motherfucking city. Can y'all just can't like who did that? I know the people that did that. Fuck you guys. I don't. I don't even think they follow me no more. Fuck you guys for bringing these ghetto ass pieces of shit to my fucking city to the point where they're even stealing money from you. <coughs> A Raiders player is stealing money from you, bro. Four hundred. Like how broke do you have to be to be stealing four hundred dollars from people? Yeah. 
And it's a professional NFL player. You're ghetto. I get I got, that you got it resolved. I got I got it taken care of. I, can't I don't complain. give a Shout fuck, out to bro. the Raiders. I didn't I didn't co-sign her uh, F the Raiders talk. Like they're taking care of the boy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the Raiders, bro. It's, you're so ghetto. Oh my god, you're so ghetto. I hate that you're in my city. I don't like that you're here in Las Vegas. Oh my god, I fuck. The words that are coming out of my mouth do not re 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 reflect anything that Nick <laughs> Day is is, is uh, thinking in his head right now because I am not. Uh, Let's go. That's the disclaimer, y'all. Yeah, the disclaimer is this is a this is my opinion, not his. But this is my podcast. <laughs> fuck you guys. Get the fuck out of my city and your fucking piece of shit fans, bro. They're have y'all noticed the crime rate has went the fuck up since the Raiders have been here. You know, Silence, you my know point. You, no, you, say the truth. No, no, no. Say the truth. I, I wouldn't know. I haven't been in Vegas long enough to be able to give a proper so, opinion. That was the first thing I said when they came here. I said it's going to be... Yep, yep. When, uh, when the Raiders came, I was like, yo, they're like, we're going to get football. As a Chargers fan, I was like, no, it's still Raiders football. Like, the felons are going to move here. Yeah. Every Raider fan I've met, I ask them, I go, how many felonies do you have? And almost all of them go say at least one. <laughs> There's a thing going on right now in, uh, in football stadiums where, like, Dudes, you, dudes are getting into fights, and it's one of the most like cringy thing that I see. Like for what? Just people like. There's been uh, a Miami Dolphins fan died uh, two weeks ago at the Patriots game. Why? Sixty-four years old got into a fight, got punched, hit his head on the sh on the on the the stairs, the cement, uh -huh. the cement stairs, yeah. never got up, died. Like these fights that people promote at the stadiums, it, it bothers me. And like I hate going to football games. As I'm saying this, I'm going to the game on Sunday. But like, well, you're doing it for your friend. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I think I think the TV, this is getting like super nerdy, but the TV product is so good with the NFL. Watching it at home is like dope as hell. Yeah. And also like I'm going to spend $1,000 on tickets. Like you and I are going to go to a game, right? Yeah. yeah. And I spent $1,000 yeah. on a Monday night football game. And now I got to worry about dudes like trying to start a fight right. with me because like they're trolling you or like they're hitting on you. They're making you uncomfortable. Right. And now it's like, hey, man, don't talk there like that, please. Like we're trying to have fun what with the, the game. What the fuck you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? You, what you going to do, yeah. pussy? That's why I try exactly. not to go out. And then when you turn around, see, yeah. your man's a fucking pussy. Your yeah, man's you know? a pussy. Like, oh, yeah. like I'm the kind of guy where I just. Austin's in the back like, see, that's when you choke, you give him that choke off. Nah, but <laughs> not even worth it. Not even <laughs> worth it, bro. Like I'm, I'm the type of guy and you could judge it if you want. Don't care. I just prefer doing it that way. I'll just go right up to security and be like, hey, man, like, yeah. I just don't want to. Oh, you he's know. a cop caller. Got it. Got yeah. It. <laughs> Listen. He's a, he's a civilian, not a gangbanger. <laughs> no, but that's the thing, too, is I, I, I'm very, uh, I don't, I personally don't like that, that it's been, it's been one of the ghettoest things. Okay, so let's talk about it. The guy that got into the car accident, he was a Raiders a uh, football player, the one that the one that killed the girl and his rugs. dog, and then her drug, huh? Racing with rugs. That was my fantasy team last night. Racing with rugs. Henry Ruggs was the football player. That was my fantasy football oh, team. Oh, okay. I didn't know his name because I didn't Ruggs. give a fuck about him, right? But do I pat my like on the way home from anywhere that I'm coming home? I see the big old mural of that little girl. She was her the girl and her dog. There's a mural of where she died. You've seen it, right? No, no. I don't know exactly where in town that is. It's, it's a rainbow and like uh, right right when you pass Tropicana going to yeah. Flamingo, you'll oh. see it right there on the left. Yeah. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. So you'll see like you you can't miss it. You can't. It's you big can't as fuck. It. I don't want to get too off topic. No. Uh, is there something like that for where Tupac got shot? No, no, they don't have anything for two nah. bucks. Anymore. No, but I can show you. Dude, in New, in New York, like my friends and I, we go on bike rides mm -hmm. and we'll go to like famous murals of like rappers. Oh, like, like we like, went to like Big Crenshaw? L, Big No, nah, no, nah, I said in New York, but like oh. something like Crenshaw, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, I to went go to the Nipsey, Nipsey Hustle one. Yeah, yeah, so like we'll go to uh, where Old Dirty Bastard from Wu Tang oh. was, or like there's one of there's one of Nas in Queensbridge. Like Nas is still around, but do they like, have any of? Like they have a yo, they have a ton throughout the city. The Bronx, like Big Pun and Fat Joe, they got some for there. But yeah, uh, I'm like, we don't have murals out here. They don't give a fuck about. They art. do, but it's in downtown, like the art district. Right, You'll right. See right. Some, some oh murals. yeah, nah, those but, murals, but, bro, but it's these, not of celebrities. But that these have aren't these aren't even these aren't even like art district areas. It's just like a Random block in place? Queensboro yeah. projects. They, they just have because yeah. they have those in Cali too. I know what he's talking about. They're and yo, beautiful. you know what the coolest thing about it? You know who polices the artwork? Who? The people in the communities. Oh, really? So, like, if I wanted to go in graffiti on Nas and shit, like, I'd get checked by the people that live there. Like, you bro, get shanked up. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, yo, what's good with you, bro? This is our goat. This is, like, Aww. our king. And, like, it's it's really cool. And there's uh, 
there's just a mutual respect from the people in the five boroughs to yeah. like not violate those kind of things. It's pretty cool. Why don't we have that in Vegas? Vegas I feel like Vegas, we're not we're not one as a community. We're really not. You have a lot of transplants here. Like, where are you yeah. from originally? Uh, East LA. Yeah. So, like, yeah. you're not born and raised in Vegas. We we're like, but that's the thing is, I'm but like, this is my city. Like, Lalo. this is I my love, city. I love it. Like, man. I love it here, and I don't feel like I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. It's not that I wouldn't go and do like community shit, but like, like trying to do community things out here. It's like, what is there to really do? It's not something that's like for Las Vegas. It's always gonna be something that's like for fucking Girl Scout cookies or it's going to be some some sort of like money fundraiser thing. It's not a community thing. Yeah, because the only thing when the community actually came together was when uh, when that shooting happened, that mass shooting. Oh, happened. Vegas Strong, yeah. right? Yeah. I think the anniversary yeah. just happened or yeah. it's coming up. No, it's, it's coming, coming up. up. It's October, October 1st. 1st. Yeah. Oh, October so that's 1st. when everybody came together really and Oh, we should do like a we should do like a podcast on Hell that yeah. or something. That'd be cool because that was that was like a tragedy that that that's when I saw the community come together. That was when I saw like people donating blood and stuff like that. But well, that's a that's it's like a it's like a yin yang effect. I feel like like it's dope that the community came together because of that. But then it's also unfortunate that we always have to wait for a tragedy for us to get like united. Or yeah, something. that yeah. part you see that yeah. happen all the time and like. Because you know, that kind of happened. Well, I don't want to say it in. New I don't live in New York, but that's what happened in New York with September 11. Yeah, like you just saw like sure. an entire community. You saw the whole world come in for you. The, any, the, I feel like the entire country came together for New York. That was like, in my opinion, what I remember of September 11, and for like, constant, like maybe for like an entire year, was the entire community came together yeah. to like donate blood, donate money, and you and, know what's you know what's wild. My friend Danny, that's coming to visit, uh, him and I. We're in fifth grade together, and from our school, PS2, the elementary school, the back room you could see into the skyline of the city, so we could see the smoke. Right? Oh, I've never, I've never no really way. talked about this on a podcast. So, y'all, I vividly remember that day. What? That so in my elementary school, they used to take us out to the yard uh -huh. for like kind of field day yeah. kind of shit. Like going outside when you were in ele elementary school was like dope, bro. You get to play kickball and shit. Going and outside, oh y'all, I pretty... swear to God, Lana. The weather was so nice that day. Yes, it was. That the principal comes on and was like, we're going to bring everyone out for lunch. And we were like so excited. And then when the towers got hit, they're like, no one's allowed to go outside. Right. And everyone was coming to get picked up from school, dude. Like literally everyone was getting picked up from like yeah. fa family and shit. I was like, what, 11, 12? Like, I, I don't know how old you are in the fifth grade. Yo, 30 people in the class. You know the only two people that didn't get picked up from school were? Me and my friend Danny. Really? <laughs> no way. Everybody else got picked up from school. Me and him ended up walking, well, like, we walked home. Walked home? Yeah. Why, where, where were your Where's parents the teachers at and the shit? time? Nah, like, so, like, at the end of the day, when when kids, like, it, oh, I get school. It. But, okay. like, you know, when you were younger, your mom would, like, or our guardian would come and be like, oh, I got to take Lana out from school yeah. at 12 o'clock and whatever it might be. Everyone was coming to get picked up because the people didn't know, like, what was going on. Yeah. But, like, me and my friend Danny just... <laughs> He just didn't get picked up, bro. Oh, like your mom, yeah. your mom Where was like, your mom nah, at? Like, she was at work? Home. My, my mom got stuck on the Queensboro Bridge. She used to work with my dad. My mom's a teacher now. But uh, my mom was working in the st city that day with my dad. Oh, no. And in Midtown. So, like, very far away from where the towers were when they got hit. But uh, my mom got stuck on the bridge oh, no. when that happened. And uh, she actually saw the second tower go down from the bridge. Like, it was like some movie shit where everyone got out the car. They weren't letting people, like, cross the bridge. They were sitting on the car, and she saw the tower get down. And then uh, my, my dad got stuck in the city with a coffee truck. So, dude, I didn't know that my parents were fine until, like, Oh my God! 6 p.m. that day. Bro. No way. Yeah, because I got home. That long? So I used to, where well, I used to live from my elementary school, like, from like the third grade, I would walk home after school. It was like four or five blocks. Like it wasn't, like I wasn't going Very far. Yeah, I wasn't going like three miles. Like I don't right. want to get it twisted like that. But it, my mom would be like, hey, the school is on 76th Street. You're going to walk down to 80th. You're going to make a left. And that's what I would do. Right. So, and that's what I did. But I just like, I, you know, I had house keys and shit. I went back home and I just didn't know like where my parents were. Were you just sitting there watching oh, the TV my. or were you just waiting for your parents to get home? Like just chilling. Bro, I'd be lying to you if I told you exactly what I did, but I uh, 
I think I kind of just like went about my day. I was <laughs> I was young, bro. Like I didn't I didn't really know any better. Like I was 11 oh my years God, old. Bro, I was crying watching this on the news. Because they made us sit there and watch it on the news on, because everybody was into it when it happened. So my mom was my mom was crying because she's from New York. My mom's from um, Brooklyn. And she was, like, crying her fucking eyes out trying to call out her family. Still dropped me off at school. And when we went to school, everybody's, like, like the world had, like, shut down. Yeah, it was and a crazy time. It was a crazy fight. Like, the world shut down, and it was on every fucking channel. Like, even on PBS. You couldn't even put on cartoons for the fucking kids. It was on every fucking channel, and we're just sitting there just watching this shit, and we're watching the first building go down. My teacher starts screaming, and I'm like, the fuck is going on? Like, what, is, like, what does this mean? And then the second building going, goes down. Then all the kids start screaming. I'm still confused. Like, the fuck is going on? And then, so I'm crying because I'm freaking out. Like, why is everyone else freaking out? And I don't know why I'm freaking out. Like, I just, I'm, the, I'm that type of person. If your energy's off, I'm, mm. I'm off too because I'm just like, I'm one of those that are like, if I see everybody running, I'm going to run with you. Right, right, right. Yeah, like, no, I'm, uh, yeah, I was fucking, I was freaking the fuck out. Nah, um, yo, I think we were like super young and uh, just didn't know any better. Like, I don't, I can't tell you if people were crying and shit, but I do remember that me and Danny did not get picked up from school. And damn, like, Daniel. <laughs> damn, like, Daniel. Damn, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to see your friend soon, huh? This weekend, the same, that's Daniel that you're talking about? Yeah. That'd be dope. Let, ask him if you come on my pocket. We need to talk about the fact that he didn't get picked up. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> but on that note, where can the people find you? Thank you so much for coming because you were you were so much fun. But yeah, this was this was dope, man. I'm happy we got to do it. I, I love your show. Your show is dope. The clips make me laugh all the time. You always <laughs> make me laugh every time I see you and I pull up on you. It's hilarious. Yeah, you're a vibe. Uh, at Nick Day is ten as you can find me. All my social media is there, and from there you can find my podcast, Veterans Minimum. The number one sports betting vibe on the internet is a lot of merch, a lot of cool shit, do giveaways. And uh, yeah, like, uh, I appreciate the time. It was fun. I appreciate you coming so much. Thank you. Big vibes. Oh, yeah. And on that note, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.